God is the author of human nature. God's the author of our minds. God's the author of the universe. And God is also the author of divine supernatural revelation. It all has one source in God. And therefore, if he is its author and he is, and he is its source, truth cannot contradict truth. In this two-part course, we will be taking an intriguing look at the theology of divine revelation. Enlightenment thought totally divorces faith from reason. I think that's the first and most fundamental feature of the Catholic approach to knowing reality that is missing in Enlightenment thought. This lecture series is an exploration of intellectual history, of the history of ideas and their effects. We have a fundamentally secularized view of civil society, and that comes in part from Kant. The idea that the public order should ultimately be something that in no way depends on any kind of theistic belief and that it can run fully well without those things and that if religion wants to fit in, it has to meet criteria given by this fundamentally secular template. We're going to focus on the writings of the Prussian Enlightenment philosopher Immanuel Kant and the German philosopher and theologian Friedrich Schleiermacher and how these two thinkers lay the foundations for the movements that we know today as liberal Protestantism and Catholic modernism. And then we will turn and consider the response of the church to these movements in the 19th and 20th centuries. Almost everybody's view of the human person is in some way stamped by this very subjectivist enlightenment beginning point. There's a lot of important ideas that come up in the history of the enlightenment that have to be reckoned with. All right, let's get started.